hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial now in my previous uh, few videos we discussed about uh, the conversion or the interconversion from decimal to binary and binary to decimal how to convert a given decimal number into its binary form and how to convert a binary number into its equivalent decimal form we discussed that in uh, today's video, we are going to uh, discuss about uh, decimal to octal conversion. How to convert a given decimal number or a base 10 number into its equivalent octal form or base 8 form. <coughs> now, if you remember, to convert any given decimal number into its binary form, what we did is that we divided that number with 2. For binary numbers, the base or radix of binary numbers is 2 because only 2 symbols 0 and 1 are allowed in binary uh, system number system. Similarly, to convert a given decimal number to its octal form, we will divide that binary uh, that decimal number. We will divide that decimal number by eight. Why eight? Because the base or radix of the octal system for octal number system is 8 because the symbols 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. These 8 symbols are allowed in octal system. In octal number system, these 8 symbols are allowed. So, we will divide the given decimal number by 8. So, let us see how we do that with the help of a of an example, ok. So, we will use the repeated division by 8 technique, repeated division by 8, ok. Let us see how we will do that. Let us say we take a number 359 which is in decimal form and we have to convert it into its base 8 or octal form. So, what we will do? We will divide the number by 8. Okay. So, it will be 4, 8 into 4 is 32. So, what we will do is 359 by 8, 4, 32, 3, 9, Again, we will multiply 4, it is 32, remainder is 7. So, it is 44 with remainder 7. Okay? This 44, this is the quotient, this is the remainder 7. Again, we will divide it with 8. It will be 8 into 5, 40. 8 into 5 is 40 and the remainder is 4. Now, you have to proceed until this quotient is lesser than the base. Here 5 is lesser than 8. So, you stop there. You stop then and there. If it would have been 9, then we would have divided. We have performed division. But as it is 5, it is lesser than 8, which is the base or the radix, we will stop here. As 5 is lesser than 8. So, we will stop here and we will move upwards in the same way we did in decimal to binary conversion. We will move upwards. So, this decimal number 359 in uh, base 10 form is equivalent to 547 <coughs> in octal form. Okay. So, all you have to do is that you have to divide the given decimal number with the base or radix of octal system which is 8 and you proceed 
until this quotient it is lesser than the base or radix that is lesser than 8 when it becomes less than 8 you stop there you include that quotient and you move upwards noting the remainders of the division operation and you proceed upwards and you write them so it is 5 4 7 okay or the, the, it is the same principle that we used in decimal to binary conversion there we divided it with 2 we noted the remainder and we proceeded until the given quotient is less than 2 usually it is 1 okay 1 it comes so then we proceeded upwards noting the remainders including the last quotient okay so here it is 547 to the uh, base 8 in octal form the given 359 Okay, so let us take uh, another number, let us say uh, 496, okay, let us say uh, we will take 496, <coughs> 496 decimal number, we have to convert it into octal form. So, 496 we will divide it with, with the base or radix of the octal system which is uh, 8. So, 496 divided with 8, 8 into 6 is 48, this is 1, 2, 16, remainder is 0. So, it is 62, 8 into 62 is exactly 496 and the remainder is 0. Next, if we multiply it with uh, 7, 8 into 7, it is 56 and the remainder is 6 and the remainder is 6. Now, we cannot perform any more division because 7 is lesser than 8. So, we have to stop here, we have to stop here and we will proceed upwards noting all the remainders which are written on the right hand side. So, it is 496 in decimal form is 760 in base 8 or octal form okay 496 which is the decimal number in octal or base 8 form is 760 okay now suppose we have a, a fractional number a decimal number containing fractional part how we will do that it has the same principle that we used in uh, decimal to binary conversion there we multiplied it the fractional part with 2 here we will multiply the fractional part with 8 let us say we have 0. 0.45 okay 0. 0.45 it is in decimal form and we have to convert it into base 8 or octal form so what we will do we will multiply 0.45 into 8 okay so this is equal to uh, let's just perform this calculation 0.45 i'm using a calculator it is 3.60 3.60 okay you take this digit which is to the left of the point and you take it outwards 3 okay then the remainder 3.6 when we take 3 out of it remaining is 0 0.60 again we multiplied it with 8 it will be 4.8 okay 4.80 again you take this 4 outside the remaining is 0 0.80 into 8 which is 6.8 4 0 again we take this 6 out and we proceed up to 3 decimal places in general ok we proceed up to 3 decimal places in binary fall also we proceeded up to 3 decimal place so now you have to go downwards ok we go downwards in case of fractional parts we go downwards in case of whole parts we move upwards and there we divided it with 8 in whole number case in fractional number we multiply it with 8 
or the base or the addicts of a given number system. So, 0.45 in decimal is equal to 0.346 in octal. 0.346 in octal number system. Okay, so this is how you convert a fractional number into the equivalent octal system. In the octal system, you convert it. 0 0.3, 0 0.45 is 0 0.346. You just multiply it with the base or radix, which is 8. You keep this part, which is to the left of the octal point, and you take and multiply the remaining with again 8, and you proceed up to 3 decimal places. You proceed up to 3 decimal places. You perform this operation 3 times, generally. You can go more, but generally 3 decimal places. So, here we have discussed how to convert a given decimal number into its octal form. Next, we will discuss how to convert an octal number into decimal form. Okay? So, I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel Engineering Tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics, instrumentation, engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.